Here in the UK, we just really don't get enough cloud. So this morning, what I'm going to show you how to do is make your very own. And it's really simple. This is all you need. Got a jug, and in that jug is a mixture of about 50-50 water and isopropyl alcohol, otherwise known as rubbing alcohol. You can get it from chemists, etc. I've got a two litre plastic drinks bottle. I've got a bicycle track pump, and I've got a piece of eight millimetre copper tube with a bung on the end. And here's what we do. So firstly, you get your mixture of water and isopropyl alcohol and tip that into the bottle. Do make sure no one mistakes this for water and tries to drink it because it's poisonous. Then you get your copper tube and your bung and push that tightly into the top of the bottle. Next, Connect up your pump. Now, luckily, the Schrader valve fitting on a car foot pump or a bicycle track pump is eight millimeters. So this will fit directly onto the end of the copper pipe. Once that's fitted, just give this a few pumps so there's a bit of pressure in there, up to oh, I don't know, about 30 psi. It's a good idea to keep your hand on top of it just to stop the cork from popping out, like so. See the pressure building up, it's getting harder to pump. And then once you've reached 20 or 30 psi, simply quickly remove the top, like that. And inside there, you have your very own cloud. So, now imagine you want to get rid of your cloud. You don't pour it out or anything like that. All you do is put the bung back in. And repressurize. And as if by magic, the cloud has vanished. Hey, but wait a moment. We want our cloud back. And there it is again. So what's actually happening? When we suddenly reduce the pressure by taking the cork out the top of the bottle, some of the water molecules and alcohol molecules in the liquid at the bottom are actually able to leave the surface of that liquid and enter the air above. Now the water molecules condense into small droplets and they form the cloud that we see. When we reapply the pressure, the reverse process happens and the air appears to clear. Now the reason we've got alcohol in the mix is because it forms a vapour much more easily than water and we get a better effect. You can do this just with water, but it's not nearly so impressive. 